Looks like we already got some. What's up, Fishing Freaks? Woo! Spencer, how you doing? You took my took my intro from me. Uh, what's up, Fishing Freaks? That's right. That's right. Uh, what's up, guys? Um, we're going to be doing some catfish cleaning and catfish cooking today with Ocean Spoon Girl. Now, growing up in the South, this is something we do all the time, but it seems that uh, God bless you, sir. God bless you. It seems that this is a very popular thing to you to do on the YouTubes right now is these catch and cooks. Uh, so I'll probably be doing a few more of these. But I've been doing this my whole childhood, man. So uh, went out today on the lake and uh, ran into a, a couple of catfish, and I'd caught some earlier. A couple you ran weeks into ago. a couple of catfish. I ran. I literally. I was throwing a swim bait. And these dumb old catfish decided to come up on the bank and boom, run right into it. So uh, so I said, sorry, you got to go in the live well. Now in Texas, we have, we have channel cats and we have blue cats and we also have flathead catfish. This one right here is a um, channel cat and they got to be... Oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys get it's that? To you guys you. get that audio? Now he's dead, I promise you, but they got to be 12 inches long to keep. Now he's well over 12 inches. He's going to be a nice, tasty treat. And I caught these earlier, those nice little sweet meats. And darling, what are we going to be doing on our catfish tonight? We are going to bread it and then we're going to bake it. Bread it so and I'll bake show you it. How to do that? All right. So this is uh, this is kind of like. Our worlds collide right here. For those of you who don't know, uh, my wife, Ocean Spoon Girl, she runs a blog called The Healthy Chew, and she does recipes and whatnot. So we're gonna be probably having some healthy uh, side items on this, I would assume. What are we having tonight? We are having garlic roasted potatoes with, um, I don't know, some kind of like maple glazed carrots. Okay, that sounds really good. Sounds really good. Uh, some of you were asking about Winston. Winston's over here. He already ate. So he's kind of just like, he's like ready to pass out. But he loves fish. <laughs> he loves fish. He loves when I bring home fish. He loves to smell them. He's very curious about them. Uh, and he loves to get his fish skins. And it's good for his majestic bulldog coat. <laughs> So, um, honey, you want to you take this operation here? And I'm going to show these fishing freaks how to skin a catfish. All if you right. see any interesting comments pop up, just go ahead and let me know what's going on. Um, so, for those of you that don't know how to properly clean a catfish, I'm going to show you how I do it. There's numbers of ways to... You know how they say there's, there's more than one way to skin a cat? Well, there's more than one way to skin a catfish, too. But... I'm going to show you how to skin this guy. Now we already got two other fillets ready to go, but I thought it'd be cool to just kind of show you guys, uh, you know, if you're out in the woods, if you're out at the lake, if you're not, uh, if you're not a redneck, if you're, if you're not a follower of the outlaw channel, uh, probably all of his followers know how to skin catfish already. Um, but if you didn't grow up in the deep south and you haven't cleaned catfish before, I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, you need a sharp knife, which I got right here. Now this is a knife I use to clean animals. Um, it's not important what kind it is. <laughs> so the main thing is you wanna make sure it's really sharp. I use two different knives. Okay, I got a skinning knife and I got a fillet knife. Just your standard fillet knife. And you There need... was a comment that said you should chew on a whisker, it's good luck. Chew on a whisker? I ain't putting that whisker in my mouth that good. <laughs> the lake that this came out of used to have a lot of cancer patients come out of it, so I'm definitely not uh, definitely not gonna eat the whisker. Now, don't worry about that, honey. We're not gonna get cancer. But <laughs> that was years ago. So what we're gonna do, the first thing is we're gonna uh, just kind of cut under the skin. You need a real sharp knife to do that. Then I'm gonna take the fillet knife and run it down. So. Come on in here and get some of this beautiful skinning action. Okay, um, we're gonna start right here. Now a lot of people will kind of dismiss this part. This is actually a lot of really good meat right here. So I like to cut 
right up on in there. And you just want to cut like right under the surface, just like if you're skinning a deer or a squirrel or whatever you're doing. Make your little pre-cuts. These are basically pre-cuts. Then when you get in there, that's gonna it's gonna really open up. See that? This is where you really want a sharp knife because catfish skin could be really tough. What kind of knife are you using? Uh, this knife. This company actually sent this to me. It's called a Mora 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 Morakini. It's from Sweden. I don't know. It's a really cool knife though. It's a good like survival knife. It's got a flat top on it, um, and it's got a really sharp blade on it. Good blade. Okay, we're gonna go on the belly right here. Do the same thing. Just kind of go down. We're gonna go all the way down to the tail. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do the same thing on this other side here. Cut right up the side. And just go down the dorsal. <laughs> Well, we get some good comments. <laughs> it's <was> just funny. <laughs> hey guys, I'm reading all your comments while you're saying these. Okay. There we go. I'll show you why I'm doing this here in just a second. It'll all make sense, trust me. All right, go down the belly. You don't want to cut too deep, especially around the belly, because you're going to get into the guts. How's your veggies doing over there, sweetheart? I'm going to have to check on my veggies. Okay, I'll hold it while you check on your veggies. Okay. How we doing? How we doing here, folks? Okay, you guys see you guys see what's going on here? Making the incisions just under the surface, doing a little skinning action. I know I look like Matt Ryan. Everyone knows that. I'm Matt Ryan's doppelganger. It's crazy. How's your veggies doing, honey? Good. Time to add me. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Uh, Winston, you holding down the fort over there? Absolutely not moving. Yeah, somebody said have a baby. Should we have a baby? Let us know in the comments right now. Should we have a baby? Boy or girl. And what should it be? Hmm. Girl. Yeah. I don't know. If we have a if we have a baby girl, I think we're gonna name it June. I've been thinking about this. Wait, no, somebody's right. gonna steal my idea. <laughs> Alright, we're back to skinning. Okay. Went from babies to skinning animals. Okay, go up the tail here. There we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a pair of pliers. Catfish have really tough skin and uh, we don't wanna eat that skin, we wanna get that off. So we're gonna take our pliers, we're gonna grab the corner right here and we're just gonna pull. <clears throat> Very tough. Just pull that right off. Oh, look like at that. that. There we go. Little treat for you. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's so excited. Look, oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. He smells it. Winston loves fish. He smells it. I know. Yeah, buddy, I can't let you eat that raw stuff, okay? Okay, we'll get you something else. All right. Now. Uh, so here's what's going on here. See that? Uh, took the skin right off that sucker. So that's when the, those pliers come in. Uh, by the way, honey, if you don't know what Super Chat is, sometimes people donate money for questions they won't answer. So if you see something like that, pause and we'll answer it. How do I pause? Well, you just press on the screen. You can scroll. All right, we're going to do the same thing on this little side here. This other side. Okay, here we 
go. Somebody says, look at that, those tan lines on your feet. Yeah, oh, let's check those out. Oh, yeah, you guys want to see that? He's still wearing his flip-flops. Check that out. Woo! Still Pretty wearing them. All right, so same thing. Take your skin. Just going to rip it off with the pliers. See how easy that is? Makes it real easy. So now your catfish is skin, and now it's ready to be filleted. So then we break out our fillet knife. See this yellow meat right here? That's a really good tasty meat. I know, Winston. It looks real tasty, doesn't it? So we want to cut right up in there and get that. A lot of people pass that up, but it's actually a really tasty part of the catfish that I like to include. Make some shoes with the skin. <laughs> Make some catfish shoes. I'm going to kind of cut down the the dorsal a little bit here. I'll try to use as much much of this th catfish as possible, you know. I don't want to let it go to waste. All right, now, a lot of the rib cage and stuff is right here. So you want to kind of cut down the dorsal. And you want to go try to go through that uh, rib cage, get through the other side. And you want to just Hold your blade down and go to the to the tail of the catfish. And you can just go ahead and cut right through the very end because you've already took, took and, taken the skin off. Now, if we were skinning another species of fish, you'd want to stop right there, flip it over, and then take the skin off. But we don't have to do that with the catfish because we already took the skin off. Then we're just left with the rib cage meat. We just kind of cut around that. Real easy. There's a rib cage. And that way we're getting the whole filet right there. Got the very top sweet meat. Real good. We're gonna put that with the other filets. That one's good to go. And then we just gotta do the other side. So, same thing. Any interesting comments? I'm trying to read them, but they're going way too fast. They're going way, well you can stop, you can pause. Like you can do this. Oh. See that? Okay. Yeah. So if you get a good one, you can soften. And check it out. Does anybody find this interesting? <laughs> That's what I really want to know. <laughs> hey, guys. Everybody saying what's up to Ocean Spin Girl, I'm yeah. sure. Everybody loves Ocean Spin Girl. I was in a restaurant in Missouri, and uh, <laughs> this guy came came up. He said, uh, "He said, hey man, are you Ocean Spoon Girl's husband?" I said, "Yeah, I guess I am." So that was like the first time I'd ever been out in public, and someone someone said, uh, "Ocean Spoon Girl's husband," instead of "Hey, you're like Fort Guy." Yeah, please say hey to me. I had one person say hey and took a picture with me. That was awesome. Okay. Just getting this cat. Somebody asked if you already had a son. Do I already have a son? No. Ocean Spoon Girl is my one and only wife, <laughs> and we don't have a baby yet. I would hope so. <laughs> so, all right. You guys getting, you guys learning here? You guys getting this down? Next time you're in the woods, you need, you need to get your catfish on. Somebody asked where Winston is. Winston's waiting right here. He's not too far behind. Just waiting. All right, get around this rib meat. And we got our fillets done, baby. There we Eat go. Eat a piece raw for your awesome fans, five bucks. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to do better than five bucks. <laughs> Sorry about you. Don't be so cheap and I'll make, I might do it. All right, I'm gonna rinse these off. Beautiful fillets right here. And I'm gonna basically pass the baton to Ocean Spoon Girl. We might wanna uh, pat those down with a paper towel or something. The really cool thing is, I don't have a towel for my hands. It's not the cool thing. The really cool thing is, you got this catfish right here. Look at that. There's no guts. 
There's not one drop of blood that came out of that catfish. It's all nice and clean. It's done. It's ready to be thrown in the trash or thrown to the coyotes or whatever you're doing. So that's a really cool way to clean the catfish. That's the way I like to do it. And uh, keep it keep it simple, easy, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. You know what I'm saying? All right, <laughs> Steph. Yep. Show us how to cook these dang things. Right, I'm gonna check on my veggies first. Okay. I hear them sizzling over here. Uh, somebody said I'll donate 10 if you answer this question, OSG. What's the question? I don't know. Didn't leave a question. I don't know. You're going to have to leave a question, guys. Uh, when nest bass video. Oh, by the way, uh, I uploaded a video today, which I normally don't upload on Wednesdays, uh, but I did today, so you guys can go check that out. Probably the worst day I've ever had. Uh, inshore saltwater fishing, but we made it really fun. It was really funny. Uh, we were kind of delirious from not catching any fish. And I got catfish goo on my hands. Oh, just got in my hair. Uh, somebody asked, Ocean Spoon Girl, do you like to eat fish? I love to eat fish. Of course she does. She she's a she's a uh, a healthy person. She likes to eat fish. So we don't have a whole lot of room over uh, here. LFG, what's your business email? I just do the I do the Lake Fork guy at gmail.com. You can send your business inquiries there. Check them out. Did you ever pat these down? No, I did not pat them down. Winston, are you holding it down, boy? Are you holding it down, boy? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. How uh, how and when did you get Winston? Oh, this this story needs to be told one of these days does. in a vlog <laughs> or in a, in a thing. What's up, Tyler? Uh, we need to do like a full Winston. I need vlog. to do like a video story on Winston. But he came from a rescue. Can you believe? Can you believe somebody, somebody didn't want that dude? Somebody didn't want that. He's one of the most famous fishing bulldogs on the internet. Nobody wanted him. Uh, but his only his only vice is. He, he likes to fight. He's a fighter. So um, he gets around other dogs and he just goes savage mode. But he's such a sweetheart around us. Don't understand. All right, I gotta show, the, I gotta show this beautiful uh, breading uh, action here. Okay, so Stephanie is taking the catfish. She is dipping them in a mixture of egg and something else. It's just egg. It's just egg, <laughs> okay. It's just egg. And it's going into the bready crumbs. Yes, the bready what crumbs is, this? is cornmeal with panko. And I did some black pepper and uh, paprika. Okay, for the folks at home that don't know what panko is, mm -hmm. what is what is panko, baby? It's basically just a fancy version of breadcrumbs. That's all it is. Fancy version of breadcrumbs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, I like it. I guess it's healthier, huh? Well, it's just... That's all it is, breadcrumbs. Instead of like buying your own bread and making your own breadcrumbs, it's just already. <laughs> Somebody said make a necklace out of the skins. Ew. That's funny. That's funny. Where did we put that fish? Oh, it's over there. Okay. All right. Somebody we'll said to make you some shoes for your poor feet. Yeah, I know, right? Have you ever seen sandal tan? So impressive. Look at that. That's how you know I've been fishing a lot. Hadn't been like that. So I was a fishing guide back in the days. Um, no, because when we first dated, our first date, I saw those, that lovely tan line. You did? I did, and I'm like, oh, okay. This we should guy. tell the story of the the first time I picked you up in a fish truck he and what you me thought up about that. In a fish truck, like literally, it was a fish on wheels. It was a fish on wheels. It's crazy. First date. Yeah. Somebody said try breading it with corn flakes with extra crispy, extra crispy. Can you have cornflakes? Well, here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So, I can't have soy. And soy is in a lot of stuff. Including cornflakes, huh? And probably including cornflakes. But if I can make my own cornflakes, then sure, why not? Yeah. Uh, yes, my tundra used to be wrapped. But it's not wrapped anymore. Because I'm not as cool as I used to be. I don't know. I'm going with that candy wrapper style right now, just like incognito. Uh, 
Incognito with a huge... Incognito. It's not going to be incognito when Outlaw gets done with it. <gasps> Ooh. Cat's out of the bag. Cat's out of the bag. All right. We gotta, you got to see this? Okay. See this thing here? Best super clear high-pressured pond technique. My gosh. I, I dare say a, a Cinco uh, pretty much catches them every time. But, uh, yeah, Cinco or like a Fluke flight line. Can't beat a weightless bait. Just can't beat it. All right, we're going to put these in the oven. All right, we got another super chat here from Colton. Hey, I'm what you would describe as a liberal trendy, and I'm sorry to hear your channel is taking a hit. Politics are fleeting, but fishing is forever. Happy to donate, celebrate the differences. That is probably the coolest super chat I've ever got. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, as you know, my wife, I, you probably don't know, she's from Austin. She's amongst the hippie trendies over there. And uh, sometimes we don't all get along. But one thing we can all get along on is everybody needs their, their freedom of speech. Everybody needs equal rights. And uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in this world right now. We all just need to take a chill we all pill need to just stick together. and go fishing. That's what I say. Okay? Take a chill pill, go fishing. Everybody chill out. All right. Okay. So Here's what we got going on on the veggie side. Uh, these are some of my favorites. I love these little, these little, um, what do you call these? Mini taters? Um, they were, I don't know. They're like new, new potatoes mixed with like, there's some purple potatoes. New potatoes? New potatoes. What? That's, that's what I call them. Okay. Small potatoes? Fingerling potatoes. Finger, finger potatoes. Uh, okay, shall give Spoon Girl a high five for me. Okey, yeah, we'll give, we'll give Ocean Spoon Girl a high five. Hey, that was not ready? a high five. That was a grab. That was a slow motion grab. Boom! Did That's a high five. Did see your, your hand? What? What's wrong with my hand? Oh, yeah, guys. Um, so tomorrow, you're going to find out what this, what this scar is right here. Um, all I'm going to say is it has to do with a big old fish I've been trying to catch for a long time. I think it's so cool I might actually have it tattooed in there. I might get somebody to ink that up and just leave that. Would that be a cool tattoo? Let me know in the comments. On your hand? Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. See that? You know it's a big fish when you got like bleeding marks on the back of your hand. That's when you know it's a big fish. Video's coming out tomorrow. Stay tuned. Okay. And somebody asked how old is Winston? Winston is, uh, yeah, we're talking about you, bro. We're talking about you. He, we don't know. It's kind of a mystery. He's, uh. He's maybe like five years old, something like that. He's still kind of in the handsome category. He's not quite, uh, he's not quite getting ugly yet, but he's got a weird scar on his butt, on his butt cheek right there. You know what's weird about French Bulldogs? You look at the back of them. What does that look like right there? That looks like a, a turkey, you know, like a turkey or a ham. A lot of times they, they like to put their legs out and they look like little turkeys or ham. Oh, I'm sorry, I was messing with you, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Hmm. All right. What do we got? Um, How long do these things go in? Let the folks know. I, I can't tell you. You're the fish checker. I'm usually the fish checker. Yeah. But, uh. Mid 15 minutes? Nah, I think it's gonna be longer on catfish. Usually it takes a little bit longer in, on catfish than you would like salmon or, or something like that. Um, because they're a little bit tougher. I don't know. They're t if, you, if you don't cook them enough, they're tough. I'll just tell you that. Uh, okay, Derek, twelfth ish. Uh, have you ever fished Illinois? No, I have not fished <laughs> Illinois, and I've heard it's it. Huh? It's Illinois. Why well, say Illinois? <laughs> Are you gonna crack me? There's, right some, now? there's no noise going on in Illinois. Well, there's some noise with some big deer. I know, and I'm gonna go up there this fall. And uh, <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm not even supposed to say that. Sorry. Um, but I've heard the fishing's terrible up there. That's why I haven't been. Sorry about it. <laughs> Have I ever fished Lake Amistad? Yes, once. Didn't do that great. Haven't been back. Heard the fishing hasn't been that great lately. Uh, heard Falcon's coming back, though. Has anybody commented on our fish up there? <sighs> Comment? I don't think we showed them that fish. 
I don't know. That's not that exciting, though. No, it's just background. It's just background. Uh, what else we got here, guys? We've pretty much we've pretty much walked you through the whole process here. Which comments are just coming in like crazy? I feel like I need to answer some. Uh, where can you get one of those hates? Uh, I guess you're talking about the hat. Uh, yeah, you can get these at lfgfish.com. You can go get the official Fishing Freak hat there. Also got a shirt. I'm working on a couple other shirts right now. Getting the designs done. So uh, we're going to get some more shirts for you fellas and fellow fishing ladies out there. If, you, if there's any ladies watching, I don't know. Might make Ocean Spoon Girl jealous. <laughs> uh, well, here's an OS, OSG. Did OSG decorate your home? Bye. Gosh, she did! You guys, you think I did this? Are you kidding me? No, yeah, sir. The story of your no, family. sir. I did not decorate a single thing in this house. That was all ocean spoon girl. She's good. She's good in the kitchen. She's good in the home. She's got it all going on. Trust me. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Dude, I look like your uncle. Well, I'm sorry to say that. Sorry your uncle looks like me. Wish you could be more stash. handsome. I have a dirty stash. Every uncle's got a dirty stash, right? That's weird. All right. Uh, redfish dude, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, I need to catch me some more redfish. I haven't done that in a while. Ooh, we got a super chat. What was that? Country Ninja. First of all, that's a sweet name. Uh, if you're ever in western Kentucky, I'd like to take you hunting. I'm going to screenshot that right now. Thank you, Country Ninja. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, so many comments. I feel like we have fish juice everywhere in this kitchen. There is fish juice everywhere. We still got a dead fish right here. We got to get rid of that. We got to get rid of that. What's for that? sure, guys. I think I. Uh, I think I'm also. I think I'm also. Uh, got some opportunities to do some uh, some bow hunting this year. I'm sure, probably you, probably a lot of you are doing bow hunting, and uh, I've killed some animals animals with bows back in the day. But um, I just been going so hardcore on fishing. I just I've been out of it for a while. My bow's out of date. Um, I'm thinking about doing a whole like video series on getting back into uh, bow hunting and how to do it like start to finish. So if any of you out there are thinking about it, um, I want to start that this fall. <laughs> so uh, can help you guys out. You know we're skinning and cleaning fish. We're doing we're learning how to bow hunt. We're just. We're just doing all outdoor things here. Want to help you guys sense. out, help you be more uh, more outdoorsy, uh, enjoy the experience in and the outdoors. Uh, Carhartt three R LFG fan from Clinton football college for the uh, five two. What? Uh, heck yeah! I'm gonna screenshot that man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, all right, guys. I think we are going to uh, let our fish cook here. It'd be way too long to uh, just yeah. sit here and let them cook the whole time. But um, I hope you guys learned a little something here on how to how to skin catfish, how to clean them, if you will, and the whole process. And Ocean Spoon Girl's little recipe here. Uh, so her Instagram will be in the description below. She's probably going to take some pictures of this beautiful meal once it's done <laughs> so you can see the, the final product. And you can follow her blog. At uh, get it. Thehealthychew.org. Thehealthychew.org. All right, Winston, send us away with a handshake, paw to hand shake. Come on, boy. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Winnie Pooh, and we'll catch you, fishing freaks, later. Bye bye. bye.